Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about RuneScape. Is, is the game still alive? That's, that's a good question I always come up with. And, yeah, the game is still alive after God knows how many years RuneScape has been up. Now, I remember playing the game... Um, if you guys play old school RuneScape, it was a bit better. Um, like, you could sit down, there was a little bit more refined animations. You know, I think there was a little bit more to do. And there was, of course, Dungeoneering. That's kind of the version that I remember playing RuneScape with. And I gotta say, this game is even better than I remember it. Now, of course, there is old school RuneScape, right? You can't go wrong with old school RuneScape. But new RuneScape is actually better, I'm gonna say this, than old school RuneScape. Now, I used to be a old school RuneScape elitist. I was like, you, you noobs do not know how to play the old RuneScape. But I just recently got back into RuneScape because the new RuneScape is a lot less grindier than old school RuneScape. I mean, oh my god. Like, old school RuneScape, it was like, yay, I get to walk around the world and do, 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 do. But this one, it's like, oh, you can now teleport to any town that you've been to, um, that you've activated the lodestone with. You don't gotta wait to teleport. The animations are smoother. You run, a, you run faster. Your running recharges extremely fast, and it's just a better game. It's got that artificial grind. It's got less of it. I think a big point in RuneScape is the map has less space in it. What I noticed is now, I don't know if the map has less space or not, or however many squares it is in between Lumbridge and Varrock. You know, I don't know. But just the way that they have the game built right now, it feels a lot less like it just feels like there's less empty space and there's more stuff almost like the trees for instance i noticed like walking around some of the mines where there's a lot of trees it just feels like there, there's more trees in less of an area i don't know it's, it's weird and oh my god the graphics are so good in this game now like it it's like playing new school runescape is like Think of old school RuneScape when it first came out. It's like, oh my god, this game's amazing. New school RuneScape recaptures that amazement. It's like, oh my god, this game is so much better than the original, right? The original kind of at this point seems like a concept. You know, a concept of like, eh, you know, it's, it feels like an early access game, really. Kind of an alpha build of what RuneScape is now. And I know that what that one is RuneScape... Old school RuneScape is RuneScape 2, I think, or RuneScape 1, and this one is new one is RuneScape 4. So, I mean, the game's come a long way. It's absolutely gorgeous. I I mean, it's a pretty well-running computer game, too, with the good graphics. I mean, my computer, I actually looked. I thought it had a GTX 975 graphics card in it. No, it has a GTX 745 in it, which is, by the way, the first thing that's getting cut out of this computer. So it's really, it's still that optimized game for computers. And like the only time I've experienced lag on my GTX 745 is when I'm reconnecting to the server or something like that. You know, that RuneScape, your character randomly stops and then everything moves forward five blocks. The menus are harder to get through because there's a crap ton of menus now. Like, holy crap, there's a lot of them. But they're easier to understand and you can kind of switch them around a bit. Like, um, if you, if I don't know if I'm recording um, my screen or not, um, but I have like a bunch of different menus all around my screen. Like, I think I have my skills and my inventory out at once, and how much XP I'm earning, and the combat thing. Like, holy, cr you have this is like KSP Kerbal Engineer Redux. All right, that's how many freaking menus there are, and it's nice that. You don't have to have the, you know, you don't always have to have the equipment button as your menu. If you notice, sometimes um, you can mess around with your menu and make it so you can just switch back from your backpack and skills. You don't gotta, I mean, at my level in the game, which is not very high, I mean, I mean, it's halfway through. I don't really need to keep putting on new equipment, right? I'm gonna have the same stuff until I reach level 50 in attack, then I'm gonna get like a rune scimitar, and then wait to get a set of rune armor. That, that, I mean, that, that's what's gonna happen with my character. But 
the big point that I get with this game is it feels like it should not be free anymore, and it's still free. It's fun to play, the systems are more optimized than ever, and it just feels like you should be paying something for this game. It, it's amazing how it's still free. That's the best part about the RuneScape, is it's free, and you know, there is a point, I'm kind of reaching the end game for the free players, but I mean, I totally would be down to pay 10 bucks a month for this game, especially now. Like, it's just a better game. You know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's it. It's RuneScape. Is it still alive? Heck yeah. And if you go on the servers, like, I was on, like, one time, like, at 2.30 in the morning on a weekday. And there was, like, it was old school. There was, like, 37,000 people playing old school RuneScape. And there was, like, almost all the members' worlds had, I think, like, at least 800 people. It was insane. So, that's it for this video, guys. Do you think RuneScape is still alive? Do you still play RuneScape? I, I mean, I do now. So, it's pretty fun. But, I'm just the casual gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.